What is up you guys? I'm back with another video. Actually, let this be proof to you all that I really do record, okay? I have been recording all year, all 2024, and it's just, you know, when it comes time to getting it all edited and up for you guys, it doesn't really happen. So, because of that, you get an hour-long vlog. Yes, an hour-long vlog today. Um, I am going to go through basically all of January, almost all of January. <laughs> so, since I had to cut so much footage, I'm just going to talk you through what January was like. So, honestly, I started off the year wanting to make a routine morning routine night routine and just get reset in the health and wellness mental health space um so you'll see me talking about like the goals that uh babe and i set for the year and how i'm really starting out this morning routine with bible study and time in the word and getting up <laughs> before 6 a.m what You'll also see me talk through my experience in the reset challenge that my boot camp instructor did, so 45 day fit challenge and what the diet plan was like and how I was progressing through just really honoring fitness and wellness and <laughs> kind of how I've been slacking quite a bit in that area. And then I got lots of behind the scenes work from home footage. So you'll see what my life is like working from home most days. I also had a couple office days. I think I included at least one of them uh, in the vlog. So you'll see kind of what career is looking like for me these days, which is pretty fun. Um, and I share kind of some highs and lows with that experience. So that was fun. And then you'll also see me talk about Babe's 30th birthday. He turned 30 on January 19th. So you'll see some behind the scenes footage of that and some fun things that I did for him for his 30th birthday. So all that to say that basically this is a little bit of an everything vlog. So if you like the longer vlogs, which I've seen quite a few of my favorite vloggers going into this like 45 minute to an hour long vlog. So I was like, hey, we'll give it a try so I can get y'all caught up to present day a little bit quicker. So so in general, I just want to say thanks so much for sticking around. If you're watching this video, grab some popcorn, get your favorite blanket, because you're in for it. Or, you know, do like me and listen to vlogs like podcasts while you get other things done around the house. Whatever way you prefer. It's giving girl chat. It's giving we're on a FaceTime call for an hour while I get you caught up on my life. Love that for us. All right, y'all. Enough of the chit chat. <laughs> Let's jump into the video. OMG, OMG, it is 2024, what? This is wild, this is absolutely wild. I cannot believe, today is January 2nd, 2024. This is your first time on my channel, welcome. Welcome to a new year, a new day. I'm feeling exceptionally amazing this morning because I really spent time yesterday getting my house and my work space and my life just ready for a new year because I've been saying on my other uh, social media pages but I just feel something different about 2024. It's a shift. It just feels different. It just feels different, that's all I can say. And so I'm trying to intentionally align myself accordingly because I think in the past I have maybe felt something or um, known the things that I want to change and adjust in my life, but I don't do anything intentional to respond to that call. You know, it's just like, it's that whole wanting better, but not necessarily doing anything intentionally with discipline and consistency to make it better. And I'm like, I don't know if it's because I'm turning 30 this year, but I'm like, no more of that. I'm sorry. No more. There are things that I've been saying for years that need to shift, need to change, and I'm doing it. I'm going after it. And so, this morning, I've been up since 5.45. Do y'all believe me? Do you believe me? Because it's true. I got up today at 5.45, which was the goal. My alarm goes off at 5.35. And then uh, it's a nine minute snooze, so around 5.44 it rings again to get me out the bed. 
And because I went to bed last night at, well I was in the bed at 9, 20ish, 9, 15ish. The goal is to be in the bed by 9. Obviously then from there to be sleep soon after that. I did stay up and watch this. I, I have been into these like crime mysteries uh, on Netflix, like documentaries. Let me just say, call me Cincy, call me whatever, but I cannot watch those before bed. My dreams were so wild. It wasn't even all necessarily just like murderous and all of that kind of stuff. It just was like weird, like very weird dreams happened last night. So yeah, won't be doing that again, <laughs> but I'm learning. I have a night routine and morning routine like goal set. And then, um, yeah, going to sleep earlier, just being sleep earlier set me up for success. I was up. I mean, it still felt like, do I really want to get up? But I didn't ha have that like feeling of I'm a magnet to my pillow. I will not get up. It was like, no, I can get up. Could I sleep in? Absolutely. But I can get up. And y'all, I have just, I did breathing and stretching. I had a glass of detox tea because my stomach has been tore up from the floor up with all this holiday food. I'm not doing well <laughs> in that category. So I did my little detox tea and green ginger tea. I've been drinking water. Um, what else did I do this morning? Prayer, Bible time, and the Word. God revealed something so amazing to me. I'm doing the book of Ecclesiastes right now, coupled with this Ecclesiastes devotional that I got from Hosanna Revival. And when I say thoroughly just, uh, it was amazing. So I'm actually like an hour behind my goal time of everything. I'm logging into work um, now. And I wanted to like start emails and like get all my day set starting at nine. But I was so in the word baby, I was in the word. And then I took some time too to set up my habit tracker so I can keep track of these habits. Um, so I have been uh, using this app called Done. Uh, well, let me say this. <laughs> I found it in, I think, 2021. And I told you guys about it back when I found it. Um, not sponsored or anything. Just I was looking for a habit tracker and found this and I was doing it for a minute and then I just kind of fell off but I'm like no with me on my habits this year like really trying to adjust stuff I'm a person who likes to check stuff off and like I did that so I have my routines in here and of course by this point the app has been updated to like really just be so easy to keep track of your habits and so um so it shows you here like your habits like all of them that you have by day and then by week and by month you can also do by morning now so they have like your morning hold on there we go <laughs> So they have like your morning, your afternoon, and then your evening tasks. It's just so great. It's like so easy to keep track of everything. So I'm on a roll and I am not in the league of people who are like, you know, oh, all y'all try to switch your lives at the new year is not sustainable. Lies. Do not believe those lies. You be encouraged. You do not let people and what other people have done or what majority of people may do about falling off their goals keep you from trying. Me personally, New Year is always an extra kick of motivation and excitement. Like, it's just a new day. It's a new clean sheet in your journal. You know what I'm saying? So ride the wave and don't let anybody tell you different. So I'm about to open this email account and I'm not gonna be afraid and I'm not gonna be worried. We're just gonna do this. No anxiety for what? I'm just gonna answer the emails in the order we received them. Let's see the damage. 89. Wow. It actually could be a lot worse. 89 is not bad. Let's see what we can do this week. Let's see what we can get into. If we need some inspiration and a little buddy to help you, inspire you to tackle your new habits. Hello, girl. Welcome. Seriously, only like 15 minutes later. But I grabbed this because, okay, there's literally a husky, a little cute little 
it looks like a husky mixed with something it's not a pure husky for sure but a husky ish dog that has been lurking at our house for two days now so yesterday um the neighbor that lives across the street like came and knocked on our door like do y'all have a dog we were like no he was like well you've had a dog lingering on your porch all morning and um when i walked up it ran away and we were like huh so we go back and look at the security footage the dog has been there like on and off since like 5 a.m or like 4 a.m and it's literally just roaming through my yard <laughs> it keeps coming back to our house at one point it was out there for probably i would say an hour maybe and it lays on our little uh, porch mat. It like moves around the porch. It sits in one corner and it goes to the other corner. It's walking down here sniffing. I think it's hungry because Luther and I said like the way it's acting, we think it's uh, somebody's dog. Like I, I don't think this is a stray because <laughs> I don't think it really knows what to do. So I really don't know what to do because it runs away so we can't like do anything about it but then it comes back. And as long as like we don't open the door and nobody goes to the front or it doesn't hear anything, it stays up there until it feels like going somewhere else and it comes back. She's back. Why are we saying she? I think it's because Luther guessed that it's a female by how she was responding to everybody. This dog is roaming our yard like it lives here. We said we would Google. Like we call the pound I guess, but it's like, what if they can't get the dog? To, to come close enough for them to take it in. I don't know what's happening. So yeah, I guess I have a dog temporarily, guys. <laughs> we have a dog. flashing at me so hold please all right we're back in action um don't even remember what i was saying so let's start over good morning um i am eating breakfast yesterday i got really intensely distracted with planning for our 30th birthdays i don't know why but every year it blows my mind that right after christmas is actually january which means my husband's birthday and then the month right after is February which is my birthday <laughs> it's like I know it but it always sneaks up on me and I'm I feel like I'm never prepared and you know how 30th birthday goes like you cannot fumble that like that is you can't do it so wasn't really sure what to do for mine um but Babe was pretty specific about what he wanted, so I was like calling around trying to get that stuff handled. And then I went down a whole tunnel of like ordering things and bah! it got real wild. And I will not lie to you, when I get in that place, my anxiety is out of control. And so my anxiety was kind of taken over yesterday. Um, cause I knew like I had stuff to do to get ready for work and being back in the swing of things today, but it was slow enough that I was like, well, I need to take advantage of this time and get this scheduled because his birthday is literally in two weeks. So I had to get stuff out and the invitation is going to go out today. I just have to figure out one more thing before, um, I send the invitation out. So yeah, it's like, it's a lot to wrap my mind around so that was what stuck the rest of my day sadly i did not make him in bed by 9 p.m um because of that i was in a full tunnel vision flash uh baby got off work really late yesterday um he gets these big plumbing jobs sometimes like at the end of his shift actually it's been a lot more frequent now that they're trusting him with a lot of bigger jobs and um yeah so he's working like at this point 14 hour days sometimes like yesterday was 
a 14 or 15 hour day, which is insanity from my perspective. And they better be paying him for every hour. But um, yeah, so he was out late, which just had me all discombobulated. So yeah, I did not get in bed. Um, but surprisingly, even though I didn't get in the bed at the best time, I think it was like closer to midnight, I still was able to get up this morning. Like I got up when my alarm went off at 5.40, 5.35. Um, like I woke up, I'll say. I didn't get out the bed until like 6.15ish, um, 6.30ish, but the way my morning routine like go is set up, if I don't get out of bed till 6.30, it kind of still works out. Like I'm not really behind much. Like that beginning part is really just to walk around, get my blood moving, have a cup of tea or something to get my system started or drink water and do some like breath work and stretching. So I still was able to fit that kind of stuff in um, like once I woke up because it's like 10 minute videos or like I use the balance app now which is like between three and 10 minute little meditation exercises. So yeah, it still worked out. I got my Bible time in, prayer, worship, breakfast, and it's 9.37. And I've been sitting here going through emails and um, what is this? Oh, yeah, going through emails and just getting ready for today. So at some point I'm gonna go put a little makeup on so I don't look so um, crusty. If you're wondering, I call these unicorn zits. First of all, my skin is so paranoid and extra. So I know that and I shouldn't pick my zits because of that. Because this dark mark will linger for a while. But I can't help it. What do y'all do not to pick your zits? <laughs> because if I see something coming up, it's it's wraps and then I end up with this. I will say, I feel like all of my latest moves to like get myself where I know God wants me to be, I feel the enemy's attacks so vividly. I don't know, but I have been scrapping with anxiety. And I think it contributed to why I was not able to fall asleep last night. And I don't really know what to do with that information. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Other than to keep praying, keep worshiping. Um, I have it on my done app to take a break around lunchtime. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, 1230 um, is a break in my schedule today. So I'm going to do another meditation and because those really did help me this morning to like release tension and kind of get out of my head. So I'm going to do that at 1230. And what else do I have then? Oh, doing the Bible app, um, like daily verse of the day and guided prayer thing. I'm going to do that then too, to just kind of recenter myself. The anxiety rages when I don't keep it in check. And so... I'm just letting y'all know, I am fully aware, fully conscious in this current 2024, how much I need to I bought this one because the first one I had during my wedding, somebody dropped it um, when they were like packing up my stuff and there's a huge dent in the bottom and a black mark. And now I just figured these folks must have dropped this thing from the rooftop by the way it got dented. Still works, but it's just a little, you know, a little shaky. So I went and got this one from Target. So the first one I bought actually from Simple Modern's website. No, I lie. I bought it from Amazon, but Simple Modern's Amazon store. This one I got from Target. Do y'all see how the top has faded entirely? It used to be this pink color. Do you see that? How this is all this pink and then this is like tan now? This is literally the color of my tan, Simple Modern. So the color has changed. The straw color even has changed. So this is how I used to have the straw. Do you see that? How the color has completely changed and on this side, completely changed. Like what? So, you know, it's really the monochromatic aesthetic for me, which is the whole point that's, you know, 
yes to the water, yes to 40 ounces, but also aesthetic. And then y'all you know, this morning, as I was walking on the walking pad, I had this on there and it was shaking super hard. And I will say, the kind of uh, standing desk that I got is not like super secure. It's on the cheaper side. So, you know, it gets the job done. So far, I'm not mad at it, but it's not sturdy. This thing was rocking so hard that I checked the coaster that I just bought. I'm like, maybe the coaster is slanted? Put it down, no, nope, it, it wasn't wiggling. I'm shaking the desk, I'm like, is it really that shaky? But I'm like, my computer doesn't shake that much. Like, chow no, I discovered that somewhere on the bottom, right here, it's like barely, but there's a dent here. There's a dent. So it literally, let me see if I can demo. Do y'all see? It shakes, it's not flat anymore. And I'm like, yes, I'm a bit of a clumsy person. I'm not gonna act like I haven't dropped this thing. But people act like Stanley's can go through anything and still survive. And honestly, I have other cups that I've bought in life that don't get to this. I'm like, what? What is going on? I mean, a huge dent in the bottom. Just huge dent. So I don't like that because now I can't put it up there because I feel like it's gonna flip over the backside if I really get to walk it and get a momentum. It's very annoying. Let me check my time. Oh, it's time for me to log on. So yeah, I don't know what to do about this. I, am I going away from simple moderns? Like, I don't know. I remember the story that Stanley survived in a fire. Like, if they're indestructible, can I just get something to where the water won't spill? Which by the way, the over time, this spills. It spills water. So basically, I'm back to the drawing board because I can't live like this. So I'm gonna have to get a different cup. This is the spicy Korean chicken, I believe from Costco. o'clock and I want to eat this but I have a, a meeting seen most of you haven't seen you Trisha happy 2024 haven't seen you Kelly all right let's jump in hello it's Thursday and I am kind of a hot mess today just keeping a one honey I also just in this moment realized that my space heater has been on since yesterday the space heater has been running full blast since yesterday. I'm sure that will be lovely on my um, electric bill. The way I just jumped into 2024 on some 5.45 a.m. 9 p.m. bedtime stuff was great. And I'm still on that momentum. I have not lost, well, you be the judge. I haven't lost my momentum and motivation, but today, maybe it didn't happen. It didn't even in the slightest happy last night I don't even know why I was up but I was up I was in the bed but I was just up I was editing a TikTok then I was playing a game on my phone like I just was not disciplined about putting my phone down so I went to sleep later which I felt like oh since I'm still in the bed in my comfy clothes like it's fine and in the morning my alarm went off at 5:35. Then again at 5.45 and I was like, oh, do I really need to get up today? I only have one meeting today. I knew like my, uh, I mean, I have things to get done, but I was like, I'm in control of my schedule today a lot, um, really for the rest of the week. So I was like, I'm not pressed to get up, even though my goal was to maintain my schedule regardless of my meetings. That's a work from home thing. I just. The structure of it is just very necessary for productivity and just feeling like you're doing things, you know? Feeling organized, feeling focused. And so I should not have let myself off the hook. So I was like, oh, you can sleep in today. Sleeping in went to sleeping in. Let me just say, sleeping in hoard. And then when I got up, it was just kind of like, 
what is my life so i was like just taking my time i didn't even leave my room until i don't even know when it was very close to my meeting time and so basically this is how i took my meeting <laughs> thank god for zoom and a pair of glasses to make me look a little more put together threw a little concealer on under here but like girl what are you doing this is the real of like new year resolutions and goals that people aren't gonna show you which is sometimes you have a little backtrack i'm trying y'all i am trying i'm only human that's why i say it all the time i'm only human okay keep your expectations low i will say though last night something victorious that happened was baby and i have been really trying to set in on bible time together and last night we went through so we're in the book of proverbs um we started out in the book of malachi which is fantastic i recommend any married couples to read the book of malachi uh, if you're looking for an easy on ramp it's a short book very powerful very powerful um so then we've been in proverbs the proverbs is 31 uh chapters so we were on 16 and 17 last night and we just the conversation was just the revelation like we ended up talking for probably another half hour after our reading of just like this connection this connection bring up other books in the bible like it was lit so you know i'm feeling great I definitely want to get my own Bible time in today as well. We just have a lot of goals, okay? But you know what? I slept or laid around for most of the morning. So we are going to kick it into action for the rest of the day. happy friday don't mind the mess in the background <laughs> um i just got out the shower i took a really long full shower like the water was literally turning cold it was that kind of a day where i just needed a reset i just needed a woosa i also took my hair down which i said in the last vlog that i wasn't gonna do until after the wedding that i have um tomorrow but the hair was just it was dead okay it was just it was not giving i don't know if i told you all this but i didn't even like it from jump because it was supposed to be soft locks and literally i've never had faux locks that have ever been harder in my life in my life like i'm used to them being a little more stiff on the first day but i literally thought it was going to be the soft locks which i've had before but she did like the full tight wrap situation so they were like I don't even know they were like branches off of my head and that just wasn't the look that I was going for so I wore it up a lot I did like different updos once it finally loosened up I was wearing it um just down but it's just not my favorite it's just not no so check it out I also had a lot of cake up from like laying my edges and stuff around the front and the back and so yeah it just felt good to just you know just a different kind of clean where you can wash your entire body from head to toe you know what i'm saying full detangle i lost quite a bit of hair but that always happens after protective styles and i'm used to it because i've pretty much had my hair in protective styles for a year now um or just under a year so the hair is growing we love that i've been watching the natural girlies who are now on this wave of like straight natural and I'm not fully committed yet to that because I really, really, really do love my curls and they're very healthy. But I do think I'm going to be on like team blowout and stuff, especially because it's colder right now. Like it's January. Also, sorry if I keep touching my face. I'm breaking out thanks to Mother Nature. Uh, so, yeah, it's just it's about that time, as you can see. But anywho, um, yeah, I just really I need something different and 
the in between like natural curl situation and when I go to sleep and it's matted so I have to refresh the curls every morning it's just not it's not the vibe I'm going for right now I did go ahead and buy thermal shield heat protectant from Cantu why did I get this brand mainly because uh it had decent reviews on Target's site and it was cheap compared to most heat protectants so yeah that's how we're here we're gonna try it and see what happens my curls were popping big time in the shower all right so boom here's what we're working with this is where i have left off I think I'm gonna try some kind of heat curl. I was debating a heatless curl, um, but I just, I don't wanna wait for the results of a heatless curl. I think we will definitely go that route eventually and probably soon because, okay, my battery's dying. Um, go that route eventually and probably soon because if I'm gonna keep blow drying my hair, I can't always put heat on it. I just don't prefer to do that in case there is a possibility for damage. So, um, yeah, happy January night. January is flying again. Hopefully 2024 decides to slow down at some point because 2023 went entirely too fast. Um, but good morning. I am making some breakfast. So I am doing a reset um, challenge, actually, a fit challenge with my trainer, AP. Some of you all may remember that I was in personal training for like a year and a half. And uh, my trainer does a reset challenge at the top of every year. I've never done it before, but it was so necessary because let me tell y'all how your girl has literally gained every cent of the weight she lost working with him for a year and a half. I gained it all back. I mean, every red, since plus tax okay married weight is a thing y'all okay it's a thing so it's a hard reset challenge the first three days are straight veggies and fruit um you can also have nuts i think and what did they say nuts and something else you can also have but no bread no dairy no meat Nothing like that. So, oh, protein, I think it's the other. Well, protein powder. Um, so, this is, ignore this stuff. That's base stuff. <laughs> and the Celsius. I'm not even drinking those because they have added sugars. Um, so, I've been juicing. So, these have settled. But, this is some juices that I did yesterday. I'm going to do a couple more today. And then I went to Whole Foods yesterday and got, these are the cotton candy grapes. So I'm thinking like, oh, it's a treat, but it's still a fruit. Um, cherries, those are babe cherries. We got eggplant. We want to try to do some eggplant. I'm going to do a cucumber and um, tomato salad for lunch with some balsamic, I think. So here's the cucumbers. We've got celery, carrots, mushrooms. I saw somebody on the team do a like mushroom wrapped in collard greens. So these are the collard greens that I got. Um, so I'm really excited to try that because that sounded good. And then we have this drawer full of produce. Freaking looks like a, a grocery store in here. We got pears, mainly for babe, but I may do some. We got bell peppers, we got lemons, clementines for snack, oranges for juicing. We've got red and green apples back there under there somewhere. Um, we've got ginger. And I put those in when I juice. We've got lettuce for salads, crushed um, or shaved, I should say, Brussels sprouts. Um, I like those as a topping of my salads sometimes. So got those and then kale for juicing and potentially to eat. We'll see. So I am all veggied and fruited out. I have these from um, Costco. 
We've had these for a while. I will say bananas are not my favorite um, flavor. So I've been kind of avoiding these, but I guess it does have mango and strawberry in it. Maybe I'll try this this morning. I'm gonna give it a shot. So I do have some stuff for work today. Yesterday I had a deadline to meet that literally almost gave me a heart attack, but I got it done. Still got a little work to do on the proposal because it's due. We have to mail it off. I think our goal is to mail it off on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of work to do guys. A few meetings today, which I usually don't have meetings on Tuesdays. So I'm a little all over the place. That was so obnoxious, but I'm feeling really good. <laughs> so y'all are getting all the good vibe energy screamed at you from the camera, okay? Oh, other than the fact that my book bag literally just made a huge tumble onto the floor. Never mind the fact that I have lots of expensive technology in there that I hope survived the fall. Anywho, good morning. I don't know what day it is compared to the last day I talked to y'all. I feel like it was Monday or Tuesday when I last talked to y'all. It's currently Thursday and I'm on my way into work. Um, I am on the building admin team now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's not a, it is a little bit of a flex. It's not that much of a flex. It really just means I have to go into the office two days a week. Um, I'm sorry, two days a month beyond what I'm already in there on Wednesdays for um, building coverage. So basically I'm like the uh, building coordinator for the day. In case anything pops off, I'll be ready to respond. No, I won't be actually. I'm literally going to be messaging my supervisor all day like, hey, just making sure I'm doing this right. What am I supposed to do? If anyone has a question, I'm gonna say, hold that thought, let me call somebody for you. It's okay. This is literally my first day of doing it. Um, I've been on the team since like September, I think, but they didn't make me start doing the this part of the job until the new year, so. I was in yesterday for our team day in the office and then I'm headed back in. Um, so yeah, I've got a few things to tackle today that have me slightly nervous. Um, not slightly nervous. It's just like, you know, all the stuff that you put off until the new year and you think like, oh, I'm in a good enough place to like put this off until the new year. And then the new year comes and you realize, no, I should have done more of this before break but you know your capacity before break is like slim to none so i did what i could i got the stuff to a, a decent place and then when i get into work my first meeting's not until 11 i think so i am going to bust it out it's currently nine o'clock um my goal was to be there already but <laughs> you know you do what you can and this morning I'll be there at about 9.15. Also doing the 45 day fit challenge with AP, I think I told y'all that. So the first three days were just fruits and vegetables. You can roast them, steam them, or eat them raw. Um, but just fruits and vegetables and nuts. And so I've been on that diet, and y'all, when I say it has cleaned your girl, cleaned out, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what could possibly be left inside of my body <laughs> because TMI, uh, this thing been clear me out, okay? And I don't have an issue with that 
you know, with number two, going number two throughout the day. I'm a fairly regular person, but this is different, okay? I feel like it's a colon cleanse. And so it's been really good. I felt like, obviously it, it feels weird initially to release from toxins, because I will be honest with y'all, I have been eating whatever I want. I have been doing whatever I want in the health department and also doing none of the things uh, <laughs> related to working out and keeping myself fit. And so my body definitely reacted to this switch. And at first it, it, it felt good, but it felt like there were times where I felt like a little dizzy or a little like, it almost felt like my body literally was pouring toxins out of every pore of my body. Um, and so it was definitely a challenge, but um, the rest of the time it's the same diet, but um, with protein. So chicken, fish, and what did he say? Chicken, fish, something else you can add as well. Um, and then like protein. So I've been doing shakes in the morning. I actually have my shake here for breakfast. Babe cooked spaghetti squash last night, y'all, and it was so bomb. And he did some eggplant as well. Um, and like a, a red sauce. It was so good. So he packed me some for lunch today. And he also um, cooked me some chicken to go with it as well. So I can have some protein. So lunch is finna slap today. And I'm gonna get through this smoothie. Um, I packed myself a clementine, an apple, and um, what else? I can't remember. Yeah, I think just clement clementine and apple just for something sweet. It's late, y'all. I'm really doing this, and it feels great, and it's not as hard as we convince ourselves it is when we just want to eat fried chicken and chipotle every day. <laughs> yeah. even I love being in the office today I don't know it's been like super chill clearly it slapped and I do mean it slapped <laughs> I've been on my water but I've been savoring it because I was gonna drink my one I just try to do one in the morning one in the afternoon one in the evening but I've been savoring this because the rumor was that the water in the building today tasted like bleach I want no parts, so I will be savoring my water. I'll just have to wait. Um, I am going to the gym. I have to be on site until five o'clock, so I still have an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm just watching YouTube and editing some papers. But um, yeah, I'm savoring this water at least until I get to the gym. I know they have the refill stations at the gym that I'm, I think are filtered, so it'd be better. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm rushing. I just got in and I have a late night meeting today. I agreed to help out one of my colleagues with this thing she's doing. So, I mean, it's at 6.30. It's currently 6.23. I ran, literally ran, into Costco to grab a few things because now today we can have protein. But I haven't already said that. So, I needed some more of these roasted vegetables because they're so easy to just throw in the air fryer. So I got a bag of those. I got the salmon again because the salmon is just perfect. It's everything and it's so easy in the air fryer. I got more of these smoothie uh, blends. So they're super easy. I got chicken sausage so that I can have um, a meat in the mornings. And then 
We got this before when it was on sale. It was on sale again today. Shout out. So it's decided to stock up because we literally just used the last of our chicken from the first time we went to the Costco. We used that last week, I think. So this is two chicken breasts per one of these things. They're individually wrapped. So chicken for days. We did it. I'm feeling my superwoman today. I got so much accomplished and made it home in time for my meeting. Now the only caveat I have is that I wanted to go to the gym today and unfortunately, wait, hold on, y'all cannot see me. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out with the timing of this meeting and me having to stay in the office until five. So it was like a super awkward little thing, especially for me to get to the store and get the food that I needed. So I chose to make sure I had the food that I needed. So I went to the store and then I'm like, I could go afterward, but the gym is literally my place of work, like it's Ohio State. So it's, am I really gonna drive all the way back to Ohio State just to go to the gym? No, and in times like these, I need a weight set at home. So I think I'm going to look into Purchasing one of those. Yep, thanks girl. Okay, I'm looking a little greasy as if I was running. So let me dab, dab. Oh, I'm like, what is making that noise? It was my little vibrating heat pad. LOL, okay. Here we go, here we go. Let's log on, let's log on. It's not been, not been great. I'm gonna take this mm -hmm. off to look a little more professional. This is supposed to be an intro. <sighs> Did that, it's done. Can we talk about why? Why do people be struggling to end Zoom calls? That's what I'm trying to say. What, it, what? <sighs> Y'all, there are certain Zoom calls that I'm on where people just, it's like, they gotta give 25 closers. It's, all right, thank you all for being here. Thank you so much to our speakers. We're so glad everyone's able to make it. I mean, we've done our announcements at this point. We've we've done the announcements three times at this point. If, if you wanna follow up, we're here and available to support you. Please feel free to use our email. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you all so much for being here. It's like, bruh. Just say bye. It gets painful. Cause then they say it and there's like this gap of silence. Like, is this when we log off? Is this when we say bye? And I'm always a guest speaker at these because let me tell you when it's my meeting, thank you everyone for your time. Have a great day. Goodbye. Get off of here. What is, what is the thing about that? Specifically this group, because we met with them on Tuesday too, and it's like this lingering black hole of space where we just don't know if the call is over or not. That's when I'm out of here. That's when I'm hitting leave meeting, and I don't care what else y'all say after that. I'm out of here. Anyways, that's my meeting right for the day. It's still hilarious.
I just feel so much more prepared for life. I feel like an adult. <laughs> I truly do. I guess I'm just here to say I'm feeling great. I've been rocking the fro since uh, Sunday. And I actually just refresh it every morning and I'm very shocked that it is cooperating. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like finally long enough to not be just smushed when I sleep beyond repair. Um, like I have a true pineapple on the top of my head that can like sustain my sleep. So, I'm just feeling good guys. <laughs> Okay, it's later in the day, it's 1.48. I was gonna say it's lunchtime, but it's actually past lunchtime. Bummer! Last Friday, I juiced a whole bunch of stuff, but the pulp is crazy. The pulp is out of this world. I'm going to, I actually don't know, I think it'll fit. I'm going to um, strain them, because I had bought this strainer a long time ago and never used it. So I'm about to strain these juices and see if we can get just the juice. Cause I can't, the pulp is just team too much. Whoa. Don't know if this is actually working. Ah, lots of pulp in there. Beautiful. It's like lumpy. Like, why did I ever think I was about to drink that? Crazy. Yes. All right, moment of truth. Are you kidding me? It's so good. It's so good. smaller storage drawers for the closet for all the beauty products and figure organization for that closet in the detach for So I didn't forget, but we have a PD for <laughs> the project that I run today. Uh, we have a guest speaker, so super chill. But I went and threw the sweater on. Might throw some glasses on to seal the deal. They won't be able to see my t-shirt, so. I don't know how to put those. There I am. Just kidding. Okay, people are coming in. Okay. Gotta go. Watch. I've been sitting here after work busting my butt because I was supposed to have this done so long ago. But I decided to do a birthday magazine for Babe. Can't remember if I already recorded something about this because I haven't posted it yet. So I'm just going to tell it like y'all don't know. So um, I got everyone as many people as I could to respond to um, write letters for him for his birthday um, funny stories whatever you want you know just stuff like that and had them send it to me and then I went on Canva did a little magic and um, created a birthday magazine for him so See, here you're getting the full, the full shebang. Like, look at his little baby face. Hi, baby. <laughs> High school graduation photo, LOL. Me, editor-in-chief, you know, something slight. His mom. Sibs, more Sibs, Dad and Sibs, his photography work. In case y'all didn't know, he really used to be on photography hard, and obviously, by the look of these photos, he's very good. 
Uh, his best friend from high school. These are pictures from her wedding. His marching band days. Other friends and family. I love this photo. With the gang. Uh, Pastor Mark. He was our co-officiant. And this man literally made such a huge impact on his life. Um, in 2022 huge impact forever indebted to that guy his plumbing I did like a little feature on his plumbing work and accomplishments go babe yeah <laughs> and then here's the press for my husband page if it will focus here we go see it's like prayer for integrity prayer for wisdom and finances Prayers over your fears, prayers over your mind. Uh, we got more prayers for your purpose, prayers for your health, uh, prayers for your protection, and then prayer for fatherhood, which honestly almost took me out of here. <laughs> I was getting so emotional reading these, so. And then here's the back page, and it's got the little barcode. <laughs> and that's the magazine. I'm really proud of it. I'm like super proud of it. cake and his birthday magazine and they turned out so cute and we got magazine obsessed this for my husband it came out so good. You can pull the, the skinny one off. I know, she went so hard to what? I saw the name. <laughs> you did not do that. Why would you do that? Maybe why would you do that? Okay. I saw the name, but I don't know which one's here. He's so hard, <laughs> Russ, for <in> my life. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can I open them? Uh, you can do whatever you want, they're yours. You don't really think they work. He's fine, he's fired. I wanted these so bad, bro. I done had these screenshots so long. You don't understand. Autograph something from LeBron. Come on. You talk about some. You're LeBron fiend. <laughs> Why you got these photos on you, <laughs> Oh, it's a book. Hard. 
You are. I ain't even <laughs> You didn't even finish me. <laughs> you are. Cheers to Jerron, 30 years, and I hope he has the best year ever. Amen. Please, 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 As I was filling my uh, pill organizer this morning, I realized I'm out of prenatals and I'm also out of my, I think it's my vitamin D. Um, so I need to request a refill of my vitamin D and then my prenatals are from Amazon. So I think I'm just gonna go on subscription for those. Actually, about to do that. Yeah. I so I went from not being a daily pill taker, like I've never had a reason to take daily pills. I went from that to like full on supplement girly. <laughs> Prenatals, vitamin D, magnesium are for my migraines. Um, Prenatals, obviously, for um, TTC life, and so. Going from not having to think about taking daily pills to having to think about it is a rude awakening and it's not uh, not easy. So I've had this same bottle of it, which is only it's supposed to be a month supply <laughs> of prenatals. I've had it for like two and a half months and I just now finished it. So I'm gonna get better gonna be great but um yeah I'm just gonna get on subscription now that I'm like paying more attention to taking them as much as I love talking to y'all there is stuff that I really have to get done with shopping like I'm not buying one thing so if I only find one thing I'm gonna just leave that thing and go my business <laughs> Genesis needs a um like gel for her hair Good morning guys this morning <laughs> <laughs> I am pushing through. I am. I, I I actually can say I'm not super tired, which I thought I would be, but yesterday was disappointing. I wanted to get to the gym. I didn't get to the gym. I stayed um, online at work until late in the evening. Missed my bedtime. Missed my night routine. Missed going to the gym, and I had an attitude about all of it I did and it was partially my fault but it's also like these things that have deadlines that I have to do um, but unfortunately I was also double bitter because I felt like what I was doing is not something that I should have been doing particularly not by myself amen <laughs> I should have had some additional team support and I love my team so I'm not like I'm not going in but like how this particular deliverable was set up and honestly a little bit of another one is giving let Gaby do it and Gaby is saying I'm trying to have boundaries in these 2024 streets and live my life amen outside of work and that didn't happen yesterday and that was disappointing on all fronts I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna say I'm feeling encouraged. I'm not necessarily feeling encouraged, but I'm choosing to be encouraged. I am choosing, like this morning, I didn't get to do all of my morning routine and quiet time with God, but I did little pieces and parts. I am just encouraging myself with what I can. I am gonna go to the gym today. I'm dressed for the gym now um, because I'm already gonna be on campus because I have to go in the office for work today and I am packing 
in my car my gym gloves my little knee compression because my knee is still jacked up i hope it cooperates so i can get a workout in today and my little belly band that helps me sweat a whole bunch and probably does nothing but makes me feel like it's doing something so i'm gonna keep wearing it <laughs> 